do what you want, but we are not affiliated. We are not associated. Not partnered with. Not teamed up with. Not linked to. Not committed to. No feelings whatsoever. Not signing you out because you forgot. Not buying a cookout tray for. Not giving a ride to the pit for. Not saving a seat during combo. Not giving a swipe to. Not giving up a seat on the bus for. Uh, needless to say, we are not affiliated with Liberty University. Cool. Our lawyers just asked us to get that out of the way. We are so excited to be here. We've been working tirelessly day and night for a great show tonight. Literally, we've been working one day and one night to get this show on the road here. <laughs> Our top rider was just on the pot uh, writing the monologue about 30 minutes ago. So it's going to be great, guys. Yeah, I mean, you know, I really didn't even know this was happening until um, he woke me up from my nap eight minutes ago. So. Thanks for being flexible. So, a lot of things have changed here at Liberty since we've last done after curfew. Uh, let's see. Um, well, there's the shoe. That's a thing. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear the grumbles from the audience. We made sure to mention the shoe early on in the monologue because we know that a large majority of the shoe are freshmen, and as freshmen, they might have less attention spans. I mean, you know, they are the first uh, group of students to be born in the 2000s. And they smell. And you're adopted. <laughs> Yikes. Well, there's the Freedom Tower. Um, yeah, uh, Towns, Towns Religion Hall. You know, the place where we used to host our show. That it's place, completely gone. Jerry and his politics. Jerry, uh, how's he changed? Anyways, <laughs> we are so excited to be here. Uh, apparently, I just heard today that China has implemented a system that monitors the behavior of the population and ranks them based on their social credit, which they call Zima credit. Isn't that um, like a Black Mirror episode? It is. However, China instituted this in 2014, and the Black Mirror episode was made in 2016. Oh, um, I don't know what's scarier, Black Mirror predicting the future or the fact that a Black Mirror episode was based off of real life. If Black Mirror is predicting the future, then we've got some seriously dark days ahead of us. Dear Lord, <laughs> we ask that you would heal our land and bring hope back to the people. And whatever Black Mirror says, don't let it come true. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. But apparently your social score has a serious effect on your life. For people who remain in good standing, you can get discounts on electrical bills, rent things without deposits, better interest rates, and even get uh, matches on your dating apps more than normal. Oh, I really need to move to China. Uh, yeah. However, that's only if you're in good standing. If you have a bad score, they ban you from things like flying, taking a train, throttling your internet speeds. Um, they already do that here. Uh, yeah, we're very used to that. Uh, you aren't allowed certain jobs. You are publicly named a bad citizen. Oh, yikes. Uh, how do you, like, raise and lower your score? Well, you can get penalized for bad driving, smoking in non-smoking areas, riding the train without a ticket, loitering, and even buying too many video games. What? Oh, oh, there, there is no way that is real. Uh, yeah, I read it on the back cover of my grandma Sudoku book, so this is legit. Okay. Well... well um, you know, if you ask me, I think, I think we need to implement a system like that here at Liberty. Well, since you mention it, we've worked night and day with the Student Life Office to incorporate a new program here at Liberty University with Zima credits, and we're calling it... Jerry, Jerry Points. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the Liberty Way has been effective for the past 40 years, but it only covers so much. There is a lot happening here on campus that Jerry Falwell Sr. would not tolerate, and we just want to make sure that justice is... Served. And we've developed a very elaborate point system, which can be raised or lowered by the following. Showing up late for curfew. Negative one point. Going on a missions trip. Plus ten points. <laughs> parking without a parking pass. Minus five points. Going on a missions trip during spring break. Plus twenty-five points. <laughs> Excessive PDA. Negative ten points. Uh, what? No. No, they just, they need to be expelled. Yeah, seriously though, it's disgusting. Going to Convo? Uh, plus five points. Going to Campus Community? Minus one point. Mm. <laughs> Riding a scooter around campus. Surprisingly, plus one point. It's a great form of transportation. 
And if you think so, if you think otherwise, you're wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, raising your hands during worship. Plus five points. <laughs> playing guitar in public. Negative three points. You're not Eric Clapton. Playing Wonderwall isn't going to impress anyone. Um, being a CGL. Plus five points. Being an RS. Minus five points. You overpaid <laughs> CGLs. Oh, uh, posting your study guides on Quizlet. Plus infinity points. You guys are the real champions. Um, let's see. I don't know. I, I can't think of any more. Uh, I can. One person taking up an entire booth of the library, uh, slow driving, making a ring by spring joke, eating your roommate's food, not cleaning up your mess, wearing chacos, enoing, slow walkers, posting okay. on LU crushes, Steven. riding your bicycle in the middle of the road, striking up conversations Steven. with someone who's working out. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> a little carried away. It's just I say all this back to back, it really gets to me. Yeah. Um, anyway, what are the what are the benefits of being in good standing with this system? Well, you can get excused absences from class, pra uh, passes on room checks, double swipes, express lines at Starbucks and Chick Fil A, better shot at winning the coveted Champion Award, and one on ones with David Nasser. Pretty nice, huh? Nice, very nice. Um, but you know, I can't say the same if you're in bad standing. Unfortunately, then it means more CSER. Required campus community, zero excused absences, parking in zone four, and necessary course in unit 102. Mm, and one-on-ones with Nasser. Now, wait, did you say 102? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so 101 is more advanced. In 102, you learn, you know, basic necessities, how to open and close your laptop, brush your teeth, blink, breathe, everything you need to know in college. Oh, I thought 101 was pathetic. Well... You know, maybe this whole Jerry Points thing isn't a good idea after all. Let's uh, make a note to talk to someone about that afterwards. In other news, Cardi B recently revealed during her live performance on Saturday Night Live that she is indeed pregnant. I guess. And, you know, since SNL is one of our greatest inspirations here at After Curfew, we just thought that tonight would be the best place to announce that um, I... I am, uh, very hungry. Oh, me too! We have been here all day! I could really go for a cookout treat right now. Same. A nice beef quesadilla. Mm. And out of the news here, uh, while currently playing minor league baseball, former Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow recently received an offer to play for a minor league football team in Orlando. Tebow has indicated that he is taking the offer very seriously. Just as seriously as he is taking all his other offers. The most current ones being... Um, coaching for LTA's broom ball team, and playing for my very own uncle's slow pitch softball team. He's currently weighing the pros and the cons. Hmm. Well, that's enough about us. I'm Abby Michael. I'm Stephen Cook. And this, this is After Curfew! Hi, I'm your After Curfew postman with a special message just for you. Please follow us on YouTube and other social medias at LU After Curfew.